Hello, this is a short tutorial on how to use the Connect Signal Wizard. First we open the demo data. This is our study that we're going to use today. We can see we've got seven robots and many different devices. Let's take a look at one. Go to Control, Edit Logic Resource. We can see here this is the name of the logic resource and we've got entries and exits. None of them have any signals connected to it. We also have more advanced logic devices in this study. Let's take a look. This robot, for example, has a logic block with many more input and output signals, but also no process simulate signals connected to it. Now let's open the connect a signal wizard and connect the process simulate signals to these pins. Okay, select the two we want to connect select the connect signals editor and we see our two logic devices here okay let's try something without defining any rules let's mesh signals to logic resources and we can see it already worked we have successfully matched this signal that has already been there to this logic resource why is that well the resource name underscore the entry or the pin name is equal to exactly the name that is already available in process simulate and that's why the engine can already find it without any additional rule okay now let's take a, a look at the robot device why did the engine not find anything here well that's easily explained we have got signals of name a040 here but the device name starts with an RC and an A040. So the engine had no chance to find it. We actually need a rule to match these strings inside the signal. Also, we have a program start here that we need to match to a, a start program on the other side. So uh, the computer didn't find the exact match because the words are turned around. Okay, now let's define a rule for this. I'm going to use an empty spreadsheet, but you can, of course, use the template uh, in your installation folder. So here's the empty spreadsheet, and I said we wanted to find a resource name, and uh, A followed by a number, and the number is a hashtag here, and we want to connect it to a signal that is of similar structure so a again followed by a hashtag and then we want to find a pin name program start and we want to match it to a signal start program let's see if that works we go back to process simulate and we load the rule set I find it here this is my demo rule set and I load it into Process Simulate. Hit OK and let's see what the wizard finds. And brilliant, it worked. We found our first match. So we match the A040 signal to the RC underscore 040 and the program start to the start program. Brilliant. OK, now let's continue matching the other signals. These ones up here are quite simple as it follows the same rules. But now let's check out program input. We've got one to eight here and we probably want to match them to program select one and three. Let's write the rule for this in one single row. Go back to the spreadsheet, put in the rules that I just mentioned. It's very simple. But now let's put prog input space and hashtag for the number wildcard and we want to match it to program select and then another hashtag for another number wildcard hit save again switch to pro process simulate and reload the rules and then match the signals again and we can see it has already uh, automatically matched the other signals according to the rules we specified. Great, so this robot device is done. Let's match the signals of the whole cell. To do this, 
simply select the whole study, add it to the connect signal with it. And you can see there's loads of signals here. We can match again and we see all the robot um, devices are already matched. But we can see there's a few that have no signals. So let's add some more rules. Here we need some more there and we need some more here. The only special rule is the one down here. Here we connect an A signal followed by a number with a random text in the middle and an underscore end in the end with a similar signal with a different text inside. Up here you can see the other rules available to you. You can do some OR and AND conditions with some specific text. But the most useful is of course the hashtag. Okay, now let's put it all together. Here's our rule spreadsheet. I've put all of them in and I've already loaded them in Process Simulate. Let's try the wizard and we can see we have connected all the available signals to our resources. But you might may see a few, a few devices that have no signals attached. How do we deal with those? Well, first you hit apply to save the progress and no, we don't want to see the log. Then you select all of them with Ctrl A, unselect the one you want to keep, remove them from the view and you can use the create and connect signals to automatically create uh, signals for that uh, resource. This follows currently a very basic rule by just saying uh, logic resource um, underscore entry name. Uh, but in the future, uh, this will be improved. Here you can also click apply and you automatically connect fresh signals to this device. So this is all you need to know for the connect signals wizard. Cards driven by digitalization.